What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Hard Mode Random Runs. We just got through the Keeper. Okay, it's going to give us Maggie. Maggie is one of my least favorites, but she's not the Keeper. There's that. Honestly, I think the Keeper might start with the same s speed stat as Maggie does. <laughs> That's just a guess, but I really feel that way. Uh, they feel like the same, you know? It feels like their movement is the same. Obviously, very quite different characters. There are some keys needed up there. Um, so we start out with a lot of red hearts. And I like damage over survivability. And that's one of the reasons I like Judas way better than I do someone like Maggie. But, here's the big butt here. And I do like big butts, and I cannot lie. You other, you other brothers... What is it? I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. When a girl walks in with an itty bitty waist and a round thing in your face, you get sprung. I got pull up truck. I don't know what that butt was the. You know what I'm saying. Um. What was I saying? I don't know what I was saying. You know what I was saying? I don't know what I was saying. No, what I was saying is the big butt here is that all these red hearts are. Uh, deal with the devil currency. Basically, we are rich when it comes to deals with the devil if we get the deals with the devil was really hoping when i blew up that tinted rock that it was going to be a soul heart uh therefore like maybe so oh my god i don't know how i worked my way out of that one but we did okay took out a decent amount of the flies there that one champion fly is just giving me a hard time i can't kill him uh but yeah, when it comes to deals with the devil, we have uh, all the money in the world. We basically can take any deal with the devil that is given to us. Hopefully, we don't run into Red Chest or Krampus on the first possible deal with the devil, which isn't here. It is on the next floor. But we still want to walk out of here with hopefully a soul heart of, or something. I mean, we have gotten no key drops, and we have two chests up there um, waiting to be opened, which I would like to do. We still haven't gotten our item room. Is this an XL? It's not an XL. Kind of felt like one for a minute here. Um, let's go find our item room, I guess. I mean, we don't need a key, so there's there's the bright side of things. On the first floor, you don't need a key anyway. All this poop. Okay, there's our item room. Little Isaac head. Hello, friend. Hello, friend. And dunce cap, Jesus H. Oh, I mean, here's the thing. I know what dunce cap, I know the pros of dunce cap, right? I know that like it doesn't change your tier rate and I know it's basically double shot but double shot like out of the side of your head um, I understand I get it's not that terrible of an item but here's the thing it's all about like it's all about like what I know in this game right now especially in the early stages with Maggie one my speed isn't that good Two, my damage is just base uh, so it's all about, you know, familiarity, familiarity. That's, I butchered that word. It's all about what I'm familiar with. And uh, that would kind of take that away from me because that's all I have going for this run, if that makes any sense at all. Uh, I know I know the basics of Isaac. I know how to dodge, I know how to shoot. And that kind of puts a, 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 a key in the wrench, a wrench in the, a wrench in the system. I don't know, I'm butchering everything today. It's fine. It's fine. I didn't finish my coffee yet. You know that that's that's a valid excuse. Usually, like, oh, I'm like, oh, I'll just blame it on this. But no, for real, that's a valid excuse. Like, if you didn't, please. There it is. There it is. Was it worth it? Probably not. Um, no, that is a valid excuse. I feel like my my senses are a little slower when I don't finish my cup of coffee. Or if I don't have coffee, well, if I don't have coffee, I don't think any videos would be made ever or any streams would ever happen. So <laughs> it's good that I had some coffee. Yep. All right, ball of bandages. Uh, I always say ball of bandages isn't bad. I, I like it for the mom fight. Last run, we actually got ball of bandages and it was after the mom fight. So it wasn't quite as good. Um, Curse of the unknown. Okay. Really can't take damage here. This is our deal with the devil. This is very important stuff. Uh, as I say that, the pressure rises for me to not take damage um, with base damage here. Uh, it's going to be quite difficult, but we really, really honestly need to make it happen. 
Hopefully we could find a shop so we could snatch up a soul heart as soon as possible. There was no soul heart in the last shop, unfortunately. Um, I don't want this guy to get floated over the rocks if I hit him, so... We might go in there with ball bandages. Oh god, this is too, this is too dangerous. Okay, Whew. made it work. Made it work. That was a balance between, like, you know, being safe and causing a great inconvenience to ourselves. Um, and I tried to walk the line as best as I could. Almost got ourselves hit by trying to use ball of bandages to kill him quick so he didn't float over the rocks to avoid the inconvenience, but... It's all good. It's all good, baby, baby. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine, salt and pepper and heavy D up in the limousine, hanging pictures on my wall every Saturday. All right, Bloody Penny. This time, Bloody Penny is a takeable trinket. As as greed, I'm still, I'm still in the boat uh, that it is completely useless as greed. I could be wrong. Um, we're gonna go to the item room. Actually, you know what? No, we're not. That would be dumb because then we have more chances to get hit. Might as well go fight our boss right now, and it's going to be Pin. That was really risky, okay? I'm completely aware that was really risky. I tried to get ball of bandages in there for some extra damage um, because I wanted to kill him quick. Granted, that was very dangerous, and I could have taken damage because of it. All right, so we get a luck up and some keys. I believe you get a soul heart from that, too, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, it's not the best. It's not the best, but we're gonna build deal with the devil precedent. One, uh, and two, it was the, our only choice. It's not like we have a D6, we can't reroll it. It's just, that's just what we need to take right now. Um, but on the bright side, we still haven't gotten our item room. So this floor is not over. It's not even close to over. We haven't even gotten our shop yet. We do have three keys to access all of those. That is good. Uh, we only gave up one red heart. And if I am, if my memory serves me correct, Latchkey does give you one. Oh, come on. Latchkey does give you one soul heart. So many troll bombs. So many troll bombs. All right. That was a dead end of a room. Um, the curse room interests me, but not if it's going to take away my soul heart. I mean, I got soul, but I'm not a soldier, if you know what I'm saying. All right, let's just do these. Oh, that's really good. I'm taking that for sure. Taking that for sure. And another uh, another soul heart is great. For some reason, when I first picked that up, I was just like, why is my speed not different? I don't know. For some reason, I thought it was goat hoof, but it's way better. It's curved freaking horn. That's trash. This is absolute trash. Although, I think I'm going to take it. That's awkward. You can't shoot. I think I had to hit the trigger again to, uh, to stop it. Um, we're going to take this and uh, be on our wayward, son. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I mean, this might not be worth it. Here's the thing. It probably won't be worth it, but maybe we can find a trap door. I know I don't want to hit that bomb rock because that would be a uh, R.I.P. 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 I just killed the club. Should have used it right here. Just kidding. There's a battery sitting there for me. Trapdoor. Come on, mate. It's level two. I mean, there's not that many rooms on this uh, floor. It's got to be here. It'll be here. I trust. I believe. <laughs> okay. It's not here. It's not here. We're going to do our due diligence. That is the theme of the run, uh, of the runs, I should say. Push that right into it. Thank you, sir. Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. All right. So this guy's going to come back around. We're going to have to make a break for it now. Uh, I do. I like that trinket. I don't mind it. It makes our tears a little bit bigger. Uh, nothing wrong with that. Killed his friendly spiders. Well, fr friendly to him, not, not so much to me. Um, ooh. Ooh, thank you, contract from below. Appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, I'm not taking over Curved Horn. I'm just not gonna do it. It's not gonna happen. Curse Room again. I would love to, but 
I don't want to get rid of my soul hearts. We need it. We did build with deal with the devil precedent, so let's keep it up. Uh, the last run, I was so uh, deprived of deals with the devil. So now this time, I wanna I wanna be swimming in them, you know. And another XL, another XL. But that wasn't an XL, was it? I think I'm thinking of the last run. I think I'm thinking of the last run, but an XL is okay here. Um, I would use a bomb to get that black heart if I could. Probably get a bomb out of one of these chests, hopefully. No, nope, we just got two pills. Hematemesis. Pretty fly. Pretty fly is pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Yeah, I tried to get ball bandages in there. Freaking Maggie's wig. Well, it's not a wig. <laughs> it looks like mom's wig, so that's why I said wig. Maggie's... Well, I guess it is a wig, because every Isaac character is Isaac disguised as them, right? That's that's the whole that's the whole idea of Isaac. Um, so I guess it is a wig. But, I digress. It's, it, the, it makes your hitbox seem bigger, and I don't know why, but I overcompensate for it, and sometimes I just get hit. Not, I don't know if that makes any sense. Maybe it should mean I should get hit less or something. I don't know. It's just an excuse. I, it's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. I'm just basically bad at the game is what it comes down to. Again, another curse room. Would like to take advantage of it. Can't really take advantage of it. I think ball bandages saved me from getting hit there or it was pretty fly, one or the other. Either way, I'm greatly appreciative of it. Couple slow ass enemies right here. This guy's got a pretty fly himself. Okay. Took way longer than I wanted it to. Uh, we got two keys out of it though. I think ball bandages saved us once again. shop for sure we have 10 cents uh yeah i'm gonna try to get 15 cents without blowing anything up one because i don't have any bombs and uh i want dip dip diploma i feel like i've known how to say it before D diploma 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 <laughs> sure diploma why not but basically, it doubles any uh, pedestal item, so we can get we can get really crafty. I mean, we can the best place to use it is. Did we just find both secret rooms, or they just found both secret rooms and blew that up, and gave me two bombs, and gave me a range down, and gave me a secret room that has two bombs in it, and gave me magic mush, and gave me mini mush, and gave me fuzzy cap. Sorry. Puberty. Puberty. Oh, we can get into the curse room for free. Instead, we can't because we uh, used all our bombs trying to get mini or uh, magic mush. Why'd I do that? I want my money. I want the money for freaking dip diploma. Diploma. Maybe when I pick it up, I'll be able to sound it out, you know? Oh, all right. We still have another item room, correct? I'm sorry. We haven't gotten any of our item rooms. Jokers? That's a lot of keys, man. That's a lot of keys. We're kind of low on bombs here. By kind of low, I mean zero bombs. That was close. That was close. But yeah, I don't know if we'll make it a boss rush. One, because Maggie is uh, inherently slow. Uh, and two, our damage is not that good. Our room clearing isn't that fast. I would like to make it the boss rush if we get, uh, Diploma and be able to use it there and, uh, get four items for basically free. I guess we would have to fight boss rush, which isn't that big of a deal. I like boss rush. I just don't do it because it's a time sink half the time, but, um, I like it. I like it just fine. This XL4 might help help our uh, boss rush case out, though. I mean, we're not going to... I mean, we won't worry about it if we don't get Diploma. I mean, we're kind of close. We're at 9 cents. The only thing is we don't have any bombs. 
So it's not like we can blow up the donation machine in a desperation attempt to get 15 cents. And uh, these rooms not giving us any drops isn't helping anybody. All right. There's finally our first item room. Feels good, man. It's dead bird. I mean, I don't love dead bird, but I'm going to take it because it's a passive. And uh, just keep moving right along here. Found our second secret room. Quite dicey dodging here. All right. And it's going to be toxic splash damage. Not the best, not the worst. It is what it is. Um, still looking for 15 cents. It makes our tier so small, though. Do you notice that? Thank you, pretty fly. Holy hell. All right, two cents. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Uh, we're up at 11 cents. We need four more cents. Still no bombs. I'm determined to make it work. I just don't know if uh, my determination is going to be enough. We did already find both secret rooms, so that's that's uh, out of the question for getting some extra money. I want a bomb as well to get into the curse room for free. I mean, bombs are very important right now, game. So if you could just slide me like one or two, that would be uh, amazing. I mean, that works too. I mean, contract from below. The thing is, it's not going to slide me one bomb. It'll probably slide me two. So we just need to wait for the moment. That is not our moment. We're running out of rooms here. Fast. This is a champion. Going to take a little longer to kill. No big deal. Wow. Okay. Really? No bombs, huh? I mean, speaking of bombs, hello, friends. Jim Nance here. There's a key. The bomb man drops a key. Is this some kind of joke? Is this some kind of joke? And before I kill one of these guys over a pedestal and he drops a bomb on it. Oh my god, we get effing keys. Jesus, man. That is a big, big rip. We could always get matchbook here. I don't know. That's, that's reaching for straws. That's what we got, though what we got we can't even use bombs to kill this guy quicker which is usually the go-to here at least he's running over the freaking liquid a little bit doing some extra damage try to get ball bandages in there a little dicey though because of uh, the hit boxes here Oh, it's going to be the screw. I like the screw a lot. Can't be too, too salty about that. Um, all right. Just move on to the next boss. This guy does brimstone in a circle. There it is. The patented move here. Usually just fight this guy in the chest. It's rare I ever fight him in an actual boss fight. So usually on the chest, I'm I'm like good enough to where he can can't usually do it more than once, even sometimes not even once, and we get a speed up, and no deal, no deal. That's uh that's pretty noteworthy there, no deal. Let's uh go to the curse room just because at this point, maybe the freaking I mean I'm regretting going into that secret room and blowing up all those mushrooms, right? I mean that's pretty it's pretty apparent that was a bad move. I mean hindsight's twenty twenty, but. Yeah, this is a big fail. Oh, you know what I can do, though? I mean, two more cents, and it could be possible if I do this. Oh, shit. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Let's go. At least we can buy this. Uh, but we're probably not going to make it a boss rush. Actually, I think that's a 100% we're not going to make it a boss rush. It's already 18 minutes into the run. Holy hell. We are going slow. Why are we going so slow? Well, because we cleared Caves XL fully. Uh, it took us forever to find not only the item room, but the boss room. And we had to backtrack. And, uh, yeah, there's basically no way. Unless what? We get another XL here? 
which isn't gonna happen. Excuse me? Did I just run into the... What just happened there? I run, ran into the spike. I lost a full soul heart there. Okay. That's not good. I mean, we don't have to use the diploma on a uh, boss rush room. It was, it's probably smart, but we could always use it on a deal with the devil and get some items for free and also like double up on tiers or damage items like packed or mark or something and uh, get some more extra health from that. I think those stack. I'm pretty sure they stack. I know for sure... Well, maybe not for sure, but my, my gut tells me that, um, like if I see a guppy item and I double it, it doesn't give me two guppy items. Like it could double the effects. Like if I get two nine lives, it'll give me 18 lives and, and et cetera, et cetera. But it doesn't count as two guppy items, uh, towards the transformation. I'm like 95% sure of that tried it before because I've done it with, uh, syringes to try to get spun quicker and it didn't work. It didn't work. Uh, I mean, rip deal? I mean, rip maybe us? What is this room? What is this room? Jesus, bro. All right, bomb for a heart just doesn't seem quite worth it. All right, we really need to like slow it down. We're not getting boss rush, it's already over. Um. So let's just slow it down, man. Let's freaking slow it down. I mean, if this is a health up, I would love to jump over there and get it, but not gonna happen. It's just some red hearts anyway. Do, 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 do. Okay, as he was coming back, just wrecked him. Wrecked him, damn near killed him. Do, 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 do. These turrets. PTSD, man. Get out of my face. Alright, double key room. Yes, indeedy. If that was a if that was a um one or six room, I would have taken it, 100 percent But it wasn't, it was a three room. We're basically re-rolls its uh things on the ground, so it's like a D20. So I just re-rolled all the money. In hopes of getting some chests and stuff. I mean, uh, was it worth it? I don't really know. You'd have to go to the drawing board and kind of just write down your stats and all that. I want to go to the curse room. I do. And I think there's no point in me not going to the curse room right now. It's not great. It's definitely not great. I mean, it gives us what a last, a last uh, chance stand here. That makes you larger. I don't want that. Look how small our tears are, man. Toxic uh, splash damage for some reason, like makes the cosmetic of your tear so small. I don't know if it's because they add that like glow on it, and it just looks smaller or something. But holy hell, it makes you feel inadequate. It's taking forever to kill. Oh my lord. I'm trying to kill him before he spawns more flies. There we go. Alright, let's just go to the curse room before we get too far away from it. Looks like we're on a linear path here to the boss. I could blow these up in hopes for a black heart. I mean, it's not a great chance at it, but it's definitely a chance at it. Hopefully, oh wow, three soul hearts. That is that is some good luck right there. Four soul fires and uh, turns into three soul hearts. That's pretty freaking good. I mean, worth it. Worth it for sure. I'm not gonna waste my bombs on these skulls, I don't think. I mean, you know what, just kidding. Let's do another four piece. We got nothing out of it. I'm not gonna do the two pieces. There's a four piece for us. Okay, or I'm like, I'm looking for a card as well. Like not just black hearts, like a card of any sort would be good. Just cause we have nothing down there. Feels like a wasted space, you know? I mean, I would have taken anything. I would have taken a freaking magician card at this point. Be right back, gonna do an MLG play. BRB.
BRB. The MLG save a key play, you know? Classic. Freaking classic. I would like Nun's Habit here. I would. Um, am I going to blow up things for it? Probably not. Probably not. Let's just go back and get our curved horn because without it, I fear I fear what our damage is. Um, we're just kind of hanging on here. It's uh, not a great run. We have not gotten any really good devil deals. We haven't gotten many devil deals, even though I feel like we earned them in the beginning. Uh, but now we've taken red heart damage on this floor because of that turret room. So we're probably not going to get a deal here, which is very, very unfortunate. We're starting to get a little, little handcuffed here by our damage. Um, I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully the RNG Jesus is kind to us. The deal with the devil isn't completely out, but it's just not looking good. That went really well. That went really well. It's unfortunate when you don't get this guy over the spikes. Wow, that was really close. That was really close. Yeah, there you go. At least we got one of them over the spikes. The second one charged at us. Popped just in time. And we have the Mask of Infamy fight. One of my least favorite fights, especially with someone like Maggie, who is a little slower in the beginning. Wow, oh, those bombs. Those bombs, though. Okay. RNG Jesus was kind to us. So we got a speedball and not so kind to us after all. We got a Krampus fight. Ball bandage is pretty fly. Either one of those saved us twice there. Bro, thought it was gonna trap me. Don't spin on me. All right, please lump a coal. Oh, I thought he died. That was really awkward. Lump a coal, please. No. Oh, it's not good. It's not good. I don't know what it like. What's the deal? Like, uh, no OP runs. It feels like it feels like each run is drama ridden. I, I don't want it to seem like I'm building it up when it's like not actually drama ridden because I've played 600 hours of this game. You think by now I would have the confidence in myself to win most runs, right? But like, I I'm not building a false confidence. Like this is this is life right now. This is us hanging on by a thread. Uh, just sometimes how it is. That speedball did help a lot. I mean, there's so many more items that would have helped more, but we were so slow. We were so slow, and it was really hindering our performance uh, to dodge. So the sun card's good. Sun card's good. Wow, we are getting no black heart luck. I'm going to hold on to the sun card. I don't think it's co completely necessary to use it right now. I mean, there's a black heart for us. This is going to be the skull ones. It's not the skull ones. One more. Should be. And we good. <sighs> Pretty fly. Thank you. Jeez. All right, we have the D4 and boom. Um, yeah. Okay, we're slower than ever, but we have the D4. We're gonna do more. This is gonna be a D4 run. Um, I made that decision. We burned di diploma, diploma. <laughs> One because I was sick of trying to pronounce it, and two, um, I burned it because I was thinking about taking D4 anyway. So we did a little trickery there in doing it, not having to get damaged by taking it. And uh, yeah, I mean, we're like I said, we were gonna lose it anyway, you know. We're going to lose it anyway once we did the, picked up the D4. Because I'm not going to pick up the D4, use it once, and then never use it again. The D4 is way too interesting and fun to do that with. Like, uh, we do have Spoonbender here. It, this run isn't staying. We do have Lotus, or Lotus, right? 
The one that changes your aura, like basically right now, I think we have a speed up, which Jesus, man, we are super slow. I would love to play him, but I'm gonna be real with you. I'm a little concerned about where our health is actually at. Oh my God, we are so slow. We have Lard as well, by the way. I think we kept our pretty flies. We did, which is cool. Kept our sun card as well. Kept our uh, curved horn also. I would love to get hive mind here. I'll come back for it if we get 15 cents. That is our boss room. Um, let's let's continue to explore here. One because it's gonna charge our D4, which is good. The D4 is good because you can get items and then hold on to those items if they if they contribute to a transformation and makes it easier to get transformations. Um, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I, I know, like, if whatever items you have that go towards a transformation before you use the D4, you keep. I think it's the same way if you roll into, say, you roll into like a Guppy's tail. I think you keep that Guppy's tail. This is a weird room. This is a very strange room. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen this one. I've seen rooms like it. I just don't know if I've ever seen that exact one. The sun card, I'm, I was trying to think if it killed our curses, but I don't think it does. It damages a room and shows us the map. I know that. I just don't know what the roll gave us. Like, I I want to play that demon judgment. I do. We'll probably play him a couple of times. I really don't know. All right, um, I'm gonna shoot this. Oh, we have, um, we have that Samson thing where you get damage the more you get hurt, I believe. It looks like our damage is way, oh no, it's because we have the red aura. Look how slow we are. Before we had the yellow aura. Oh my God, I don't think I've ever been this slow. Okay, we got Gimpy and we got a tears up now because of the blue aura. A hermit card. Did we get the shop yet? I don't, yeah, we did, we did, it's up there, duh. Um, we have the D4 play. Do we wanna use the D4 play? Yeah, let's use it in the mom fight, just because why not? Okay, it looks like we have epic fetus. Epic fetus technology? A little brim? <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know. I don't know where this this run came from. This is a this is a definitely a weird one. It's an interesting one, and we're fighting Blue Mom, by the way. That means she spawns a lot of enemies and doesn't slam her foot as much as she normally would. Okay, we beat her. No deal with the devil, but we did get the Polaroid and we got a Soul Heart to boot. Curious to see what my health is. I know we rerolled into Lard there. Uh, I played the Demon Judgment pretty hard. We're, we're at full health, which I kind of expected a little bit. Um, just because when you reroll, you can get some health up items, and basically that stuff sticks. When I get the D4, it usually doesn't end in, uh, you know, me having low health or anything. I've never been this slow, though, dude. Wait, didn't I? Yeah, I rerolled out of that slow-ass run, and we're still this slow. I mean, oh my lord. This run is definitely pretty good uh, damage-wise, but like as you saw right there, we cannot get out of the way of them at all. We're barely out of the way of that. I'm gonna reroll this again. I don't love Epic Fetus. I think it's a solid, you know, uh, run damage-wise. I think we would probably be okay with it. <clears throat> but it's just, if you're gonna have the D4, why not use it? If we get a really interesting run, I won't use it, but the chances of that are kind of slim, just because, you, you know, you always want to know what's behind door number three, right? That's the whole human psych. I like going in a room and using it, because then it's like you can't even see what you got. So it looks like we have quad shot. Uh, we have halo, which is an all stats up. We have a uh, revenge fly, which is really good. We have daddy long legs, which is really good. Our damage isn't amazing. But now it looks like we have that. Oh, we have money equals power. Okay, <clears throat> this is definitely a good run. Is it an interesting run? Probably not interesting enough to keep it, 
Uh, I obviously I'm saying this now, but I know I'm still far off from it. But I don't want to reroll into breakfast. Um, I don't want to breakfast myself at all. But the thing is, I think the more you reroll, the more chances you get to get like Doctor Fetus, Epic Fetus. And I do like to cut the cord before we get to that point, just because I don't love Doctor Fetus or Epic Fetus. Uh, just because I don't think they're that interesting. I think some of the Doctor Fetus. Uh, synergies are interesting, but the epic fetus is just eh, meh. Like, we had a cool one before, you know, with the technology, but it doesn't get much cooler than that. Maybe some triple shot action, if you think that's cool, where it just drops three bombs when you usually drop one. I mean, it's good, but I'm more leaning towards what's interesting. Uh, safety pin is good. We're probably gonna reroll right out of it, though. More items is good, though. Uh... I was going to say, I'm going to, before I use the sun. Excuse me. Okay, we have inner eye. Gertie. This is a weird ass run. We have inner, inner eye, Gertie. Oh, okay. We have, um, not marked the other one, the freaking target one. Okay, this is quite interesting. Our speed is a little bit better than it was, but our damage is definitely not good. Also, if we get hit while charging, we will be teleported out of this room and then have to come back and fight it again, which is annoying. Soul Heart, which we can't even take. I'll use a bomb here. We have 99 of them. Usually with the D4, you run into uh, at least one 99 bombs reroll. I'm definitely gonna reroll this one. Don't love Cursed Eye. We still have that uh, quad shot going on. I don't know why I keep thinking I need that. Why am I going this way? I know it's not the way. Well, I guess I avoided one room by going to a big room. Okay, I mean, our damage is decent though. This is definitely an interesting run. Yeah, I could have saw that coming from a mile away. Uh, we'll just go back down here. Oh, there's a double locked room. Now, if it was a six room, I probably wouldn't have taken it because I think that would have gotten rid of our D4 and that basically would just end it all. And I like the D4 just because it's interesting every time you get to do it. This is a weird room for this build. I keep not wanting to charge my shot because I don't want to get hit and teleport it out again. Um, right, let's go down. I was going to bomb my way out, but then I remembered I need to clear the room to get another charge. So let's just do it because I want to I want to reroll this one. This one's not that interesting. Our tier rate is pretty damn low. I was trying to see what happens when I spam the tiers. I mean, it stacks up pretty damn quick with this. Uh, I always forget the name of this one. I know exactly what the item is and what it does. Just the name is escaping me. All right, let's just pop it now. Oh, we got the Beelzebub transformation so we could fly. It looks like our tiers are semi-normal. We have Toxic Shock, which damages the room every time we get into a new one we have mom's wig obviously <laughs> um this looks like an okay run i don't know how our damage stacks up i mean it doesn't look great actually the more uh the more i use it we got damage there we got phd as well we got uh coin bag or mystery sack i think it's called and we also got Little Gish, which isn't great, it's just okay. I mean, I do have 99 bombs. Our bomb synergies are actually disappointingly vanilla. Like, they're just bombs, really. I mean, at first sight, that's what it looks like. I don't think they're doing any more damage than a normal bomb would. Which is kind of bizarre at this juncture of the D4. I'm definitely gonna take these just because they reroll into uh, different items. That could be exciting. And, uh, yeah, up to the cathedral. I mean, we're making it work. We're freaking huge, dude. Holy shit. We are huge. I wonder if we got magic mush. Kind of feels like we do. It almost feels like we have default tiers with magic mush on top of it. 
I mean, we had Curved Horn, I guess. We still have Curved Horn. That hasn't left us. Curved Horn's a good friend. Okay, I could fly. Let's just get that in our head. I could fly. 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 Okay, it should be in there. I want to get away. I want to fly away. Had to do it. Just had to do it, you know? Some things you have to do in life, and that was one of them. Uh, I'm feeling this way. I'm feeling like it's right here. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'll uh, here, I'll play him, and if he gives me an item, I'll take it, because that adds another item to be re-rolled. Which is good, even though it might just be a health up. Yeah, it is a health up, which is fine. Breakfast, hey, is that is that foreshadowing? Is that foreshadowing game? I really don't want to breakfast myself, guys. I mean, I'm on a four win streak on a random streak, uh, which doesn't sound impressive, but it's two away from my record of a random streak. So let's just try to keep it up, you know? I really don't want to breakfast myself. And I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, these tears scared me a little bit. These tears do, do scare me, because it does feel like I said before, like I'm default tears with like magic mush. Okay, we got the mom transformation, and then we have a monstrous long epic -ec. I, I was gonna say, our damage should be intense right now. Um, a little dangerous. It's always dangerous when you reroll into an epic hack because one, things like that can happen, and two, uh, you can get like a soy milk epic hack low range and then actually, you know, corner yourself to a point where you can't get out of that run. Uh, as you can see, it's a dangerous run. We're already taking a lot of damage, but we hit really hard. So, I mean, I kind of like this this uh, reroll. Should one hit shot him, and it did. We got some red hearts here too. Which we will take. Uh, we got some health laying around, but we actually can't take that because it is... What? That death animation, though. He died and then didn't die. He was alive, but then he was like, here's a secret room. It was quite strange. Quite strange. Uh, I'm going to go up here, hoping we can somehow sneak in behind and get the uh, Isaac fight as soon as possible. I know I have a reroll, but I'll, I'd be lying to you if I said I wasn't interested in this run, or in this build, I should say. Well, I, I say run, and it's not wrong, because it is, it's like a whole new run every time you reroll. But really, it's a build on the same run that we've been on. Spiders, the freaking spiders. Like, I love how hard it hits, and I love how dangerous it is, you know? It's got a little bit of both. All right, let's go to the right. It's the only way possible for uh, Isaac to be. I don't know if we have small rock yet or not. I'm not sure if that's something you could re-roll into. I'm assuming maybe it is, because it is a, just an item in the game. Or maybe that is reserved to uh, blowing up in a tinted rock. Speaking of tinted rock, had one right there. F it. Oh no! Soy milk! Oh god! What is happening? What the fuck is happening? Okay, we have hot bombs, but I can't shoot the bombs over to him. Uh, we have parasite, really low range. Um, I don't know what the fuck is happening. I don't even know what we're damaging him by. Maybe BBF is just doing all the damage. Okay, we have uh, some sort of thing that attracts enemies to us. As you can see, whole, <laughs> holy shit. Oh God. I don't know if we have lost contact or something. It seems like we are, oh Jesus, what? The fuck was that, dude? What is this, dude? <laughs> Hit him with mom's knife, holy hell. Oh my god, uh, there's some red hearts lying around and maybe it was best that we went back and got them uh, because this this run looks like a disaster. Looks like an absolute disaster of a run. We got dead onion, eight inch nails to only add to the weirdness of what we have going on here. Okay, maybe, okay, thank God for the red heart.
I don't know what to do. I'm trying to lead him into the fire. Thank you, BBF. Yeah, he's on the fire, I think. There you go. Burn, baby. Burn, baby, burn. Oh, God. Dude, look at us right now. We look crazy. We look crazy, dude. Just do it. Oh, God. Okay. Mm. We might die. I don't want to die, dude. I don't want to die, man. We might die, guys. We have one more room to refill. Thank God. Okay, the mom's the mom transformation knife. Just hoping they No. No! I'm hoping they blow themselves up. I don't know how they haven't yet. I have to kill it with the knife. Okay, one's dead. One's dead. Please just fucking... Yes. Okay, we got fun guy and some sort of technology. At least it's... I, I hope it doesn't suck enemies towards us. I really wish I could take that soul heart, but I can't. Let's try to find a secret room. It's going to be uh, not easy. And we have scatter bombs. Whoa! Yeah, I mean, I would love to take that, but I can't. Pretty sure we already checked the up there. Oh, okay. Um. <clears throat> yeah, our damage is so bad. We're gonna die. This is it. This is the end. This is the end. This is the end. We have homing, which is good. Okay, we got half a red heart. So we won't die instantly, but we're, this is like looking really poor right now. Um, thank God, please God be red hearts. It's not red hearts. That's not red hearts at all. That's not red hearts at all, man. Okay, um, shit. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, dude. Like we just have to fight these rooms. Like, these guys aren't going to be that big of a deal, but it's when we get into the bosses that, like, are m more beefy and take more hits. It's like our damage is trash. I mean, at least our damage isn't incriminating. Like, we're not actually killing ourselves. And thank God we have Mom's Contact. We're not killing ourselves like before when we had the magnetic soy milk. Tears, how have I not hit that guy? Holy hell. Blank rune. Okay, we got mapping, which is interesting. Very interesting. Um, I don't think we have money equals power anymore, which is sad. We're so slow. Like, how are you? How am I this slow? After this many rerolls, how? How am I still this slow? Okay, he's dead. There's just one more. There he is. Mom's contact his ass. Okay, we had number one all of a sudden. I guess we have some sort of rainbow tier. Really hate this guy. Okay, he's dead. Please drop a red heart. Why are you not dropping red hearts? Do we re-roll? Yes, we got full health. We got full health, boys. And death touch. Oh, shit. Oh, it's over. Oh, it's over, baby. Let's go. I don't know what I just got hit by, though. Bomb? Thank God, dude. Thank God. You might be saying, wow, so lucky. GGR and Jesus. But we lived long enough to tell the damn tale.
I did not think we were going to get out of this one alive. And it's still very dangerous because our damage for some reason isn't as big, as good as it looks. And we have something that keeps exploding right by our feet. Uh, so I think it's to the point where time is going to be our savior here. This run might have killed us in the end if we didn't, you know. Oh, it's shit bombs. Shit bombs number two. Why do I call them shit bombs? Okay, we got red hearts though. The savior. The savior. I hope I cleared this room. I think I did, yeah. Card against humanity. Why not? Why not, boys? This is ridiculous. This is a ridiculous run. How the hell we came out on the winning side of this after those two shitty rerolls that kind of were, uh... I mean, the technology one, to be fair, wasn't the shittiest. How is my damage not that good? Look at this. Our tears look crazy. Maybe we started breakfasting a little bit? I don't know. Like, it, is it just me? Like, the holy shots are great, obviously, but that's because of holy shot. Otherwise, like, the huge-ass death touch tears, like, that feels like they would rip through Blue Baby. I don't know. Weird. Um, but very fun d4 run we had some some downs and definitely some ups and uh it was quite the wild ride thank you guys for joining me on uh said wild ride if you did enjoy this episode feel free to leave a like it helps me out a ton thank you guys for watching and until next time stay safe stay up peace out